monarchs of the internet. Today I'm going to be making a, a no sewing machine cape. And so here I have a three, you'll need about three to four yards of cloth. And this cloth cannot be that cottony stuff. It has to be, I mean, this might be cotton, I don't know, but it has to be like a stretchy t-shirt material. And what that will do is it'll make it so we don't have to make um, seams. So it won't, the material won't fray. And so then we don't have to do seams, which would take forever without a sewing machine. So uh, you need that kind of cloth. So right now what I'm doing is doubling it over. And again, this is, you'll need about uh, three to four yards, uh, depending on how, if you want to make a hood and how long you want it, and etc. Um, so after you smooth it out, that gives you a nice base to draw on. So you're going to use either a string or a tape measure uh, to make uh, basically the little holes like you know how like you put a little string in the thing and then that's how you make ellipses yeah same thing except we're using the tape measure and here I used about seven inches but it can depend on how much you want how big your head hole you want to be that little bit's gonna be your head hole so um, that can just depend on how big of a head hole you want and I did the same thing for the body of the cape so basically we have this giant half of a bagel um, except it's a quarter of a bagel because it's folded over right now, but it won't be folded over in a minute. So now here I'm just uh, drawing out. You can see I did little marks basically um, because I, I didn't have that lovely string apparatus. So I did little marks and I marked out however many inches it was till the very edge of the cloth and then just came around and marked all of those things. I'm about to point at the screen. You totally can't see me pointing at the screen. Um, and then I just cut it out. And so again, it's like this giant half donut, well right now quarter donut bagel thing, but now it's going to be a full donut bagel thing in a second. See here, ta-da, okay, you can't see the top. There we go, sort of. Um, and again, it, it, this method will only work for shorter capes technically i'm about like five foot four but you could always take a little bit of that excess cloth and you could make a strip and sew it around the bottom it wouldn't take too much more time um again this is just a really quick method if you need something in a pinch like i did um so here we go and now we're gonna make the hood and if you don't want a hood you can skip this step but if you do want a hood you're gonna want to lay out the excess fabric that you have and double doubled over um and uh i'm marking out kind of this rectangle okay this totally was not very scientific at all but i kind of just marked out this rectangle because i saw somebody else do it but i just just decided to kind of wing it so i drew out this like rectangle thing and then you kind of like draw a straight line and then you kind of draw this like curve thing up to the center of the rectangle and then that's like your hood shape apparently that's the shape that hoods are kind of and you were supposed to like measure your head i kind of did uh, but this wasn't even for me this was for my brother um and so again you double up the cloth and then you want to cut out your whole thing and again we don't have to worry about seams because this cloth will not unravel and that's very important um, otherwise you would have to seam every single one of these edges that you cut um, and so now what you do is you just pin those together with some pins so you want to pin the bit that th you want to pin the curvy bit because that curvy bit is on the back of your head so you want to pin that curvy bit and then uh, after you pin it then you're able to sew it together um so here i am so i just take this little uh, this black thread and how you can sew it it's much easier with a thimble um you don't have to have a thimble you can also do like a more loopy stitch and that definitely does not require a thimble but here's a little bit of a faster method to do to do that that my grandmother taught me um so basically you weave the a cloth like in and out of the needle and then that makes it very tight and so then you use the thimble to push it through 
but then you have this whole huge thing and a lot most of the time you'll be doing a much smaller stitch than that um, but we're doing very large stitches because we just want to have this fast and done and over with and there you go you can see it's roughly in a hood shape you could mess around with this shape if you wanted to you could do some uh, mock-ups with paper or something like newspaper or something if you wanted to see how the shape would turn out um, I, again I was just doing this really quickly that's just a basic thing of how you would sew it together um, so then basically you put the inside outs Wait, no, sorry. You put the right sides of the cloth together, so basically the sides that you want to see um, along that bottom hood bit and along the top bit where you cut that, the center of your donut, where, where you cut the donut hole. You want to sew this bottom of the hood to the donut hole bit. And it's important to pin it because you can't just start sewing because they're not going to line up perfectly. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to pin it in the middle and then start pinning it all the way to the outside edge. And then you can um, pin to the other outside edge and then it will be a little bit gathered um, so that it will be, you know, you won't have little bits of cloth hanging off the edges and it'll look like it's meant to be. So there you have it. I sewed it there and you can see the seams um, on the outside again very rough but hey I think it works it, it totally did work and I put a little clasp where I'm holding my hand there I didn't show that for some reason um, but yeah I put a little clasp you could also use a safety pin if you're really in a pinch um, or a little loop and a button so yeah thanks so much for watching there's my little cape reveal again you could make it longer if you wanted to oh and there's the mask that I made <laughs> um, on the right hand side a little cameo and so thanks so for watching and have a great rest of your day um and here's a cat to help fuel that great great rest of your day um and thanks so much for watching and uh if you find this mildly enjoyable please subscribe thanks bye